If we're thinking about sustainable buildings, we need to think about the sustainability of the design sound environment because it affects our health, our well-being, our ability to communicate, our relationships and our productivity. Hugely important. Buildings are meant to serve people's needs, not the other way around. There are many areas of overlap. When, when trying to get the acoustics right, a balance needs to be struck between the sound levels that drown out unwanted distractions, but are also not loud enough to actually cause stress. Well, given the knowledge that we've got about how sounds affect our physiology, our emotions, our psychology, and our behavior, we need to take a decision to actively manage the sound in the environments that we're creating. So soundscaping is just using that knowledge to say what are the emotional impacts that we want to create and therefore what is the appropriate sound in that environment. Sounds affects us, which is not the case of the rest of the energies in the building. Acoustically isolation as is not the best way to sustainable construction. As it normally means, we isolate ourselves or from noise, yes, but also from sounds we consider, we consider pleasure. Noise is, is one of the, the main factors that cause distractions for people and dissatisfaction in the office environment. There's research that shows actually up to a 66% drop in performance when you expose people to different uh, levels of, of noise and background noise. What does the communicate mean exactly? Out of all the energies that exist at home, the one that affects a coexistence tends the most is acoustics. It is an energy that is not measured by a counter. It has no monetary value. Our report shows that many of the features we associate with green buildings and reduced uh, resources also make a positive contribution on the health, well-being and productivity of the building occupants. As humans, we make sense of the world around us across all five senses. So start thinking about your design work in terms of sound, taste, smell, touch. It's amazing, when you start to stand back and think about it, it's amazing how much you can actually do that creates that deeper emotional response. Because we live in a world of visual overload.